In this video, we're going to be trying out the new Badline 3.0. Also, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you are new. And let's get onto the video. Alright, so we're in the main menu, and like you can see, a lot has changed. So let's actually go to multiplayer and look at that. Also, if you are not sure what Badline is, it's a PvP client which a lot of people use. Look at that! Now, if you are wondering, I've already opened it. So some stuff is actually changed, but that looks amazing. By the way, this actually costs money until it's released so yeah my fps is doing all right but the game itself feels a whole lot smoother so if you actually go to settings there's all of this new stuff which is actually really cool and it's a bit confusing to begin with but it's basically all of the controls and like the deeper settings and a lot of you guys actually use lunar client and to be honest it actually feels like lunar client like the smoothness like when you move your mouse because like it used to be really laggy but now it's like all smooth and stuff which i do really like so another really important feature is that like you see that guy he has the button thing that means he's using button it's like in lunar and i actually really love it and i was hoping for it to get added so you can also see who is using button client oh my god this guy won't leave me alone he's just gonna die farm There we go. I don't think any new mods have been added, which kind of sucks, but like, it's still in beta by the way, so it might change. Good fight. Now, if you actually press escape, this is how it looks. I mean, it's not that good, but it's not bad either. Also, another really important part, if you actually go to, there's actually a theme changer. And it's really cool, because you can actually change the color of stuff. And you can change, like, a whole lot of stuff if you don't like it. Which is really cool, I do actually rate that. I feel like there's too much advertisement. Which, I guess, yeah, they want to make money. But, like, I feel like it's a bit too much. And also, if you go to resource packs, there's, like, new stuff. So, basically, I'm pretty sure there's, like, no new mods, but... They are actually organized and you can actually make your own ones like here I can drag this to here and look that's actually amazing Also the game feels a whole lot smoother the FPS does go up more but like nothing I'd say that could like change your game that much And if you do actually install bad down 3.0 we are gonna see this I really dislike that like it's not that bad, but it looks a whole lot better when it's in the middle. So to change that, you go over to settings, menus, and then make sure it's in the center. And that looks a whole lot better. The only thing that I would suggest Bardine to do is so you will actually be able to change the opacity of the menu. I'm not sure if it's possible, but I couldn't really find anywhere to do it. Like for example here, opacity. It's only for the chart. But apart from that, honestly, it's amazing. And they also need to add mods. It might not seem that big, but like, even if you just move your mouse, it feels way smoother and nicer. Another small change is, if you actually go to F5, you see how it says subscribe to the there with like a cooler font? That's because if you go to Insider, you can actually use fancy font name tags. Uh oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, okay. <laughs> you might be asking how to get this client. You either need like $30, which is I think it's way too much for anything that has to do with Minecraft, unless you really want it. Or you can actually get it for free if you have insider for example i have insider so i got it for free and insider also costs money which kind of sucks but like pattern is trying to make like income and stuff and they have to pay for a lot of developers so i can actually understand why and i'm just gonna be honest i don't know why i just love this it feels so much better in every way shape or form imagine like lunar client smoothness with bad and mods and more like new things it just feels a whole lot better you might think i'm crazy let's first kill this guy Thank you. But the thing I'm most excited about is actually the pack folder. So if you go over here, there's the pack folders, which look really nice. And if you are wondering, I do change my pack folder every day. And I'm probably gonna have my own pack folder at some point. But like, for example, here, you can just open it up and it's so nice and clean, which I really do like. Also, for example, if I go over here to multiplayer, I can actually create a folder, but it doesn't really work. The feature isn't available, but it's a really nice add-on. I do wish you can actually make this bigger, because, for example, this is a bit blurry in a way. But it looks really clean. I wish you could make it a tiny bit cleaner and better, but it's really nice. The replay viewer is also a bit different. Let me actually try opening it up. Okay, so the replay mode is a bit faster. Yeah, okay, so for example, if you go here. Okay, it's way faster. I do like that. Because for example, if you're like all the way here and you have to go back, it would take like five seconds and it would go slowly, but now it's like really fast. And if you're using Lunar Client, I say try it out when it's out. You might not like it. You might prefer it more than other clients. For example, it's Lunar and PvP Lounge. Honestly, it's personal preference at this point. They're all, I'm just gonna be honest, they all give you the same FPS. Lunar is a bit smoother than all of the clients, but honestly, I 
after the update i think bardian is also up there again if you're not sure what bardian is it's basically a pvp ground and pvp is basically fighting so fighting so it's used for pvp and fighting other people like for example in hypixel there's pvp mods i will leave a link in the description to bardian bardian 3.0 in the description if you do want to go check it out and let's just have a game mode of just playing checking it out also i don't know if it's a bug or it's only me but like sometimes the volume is way too high also another really great and awesome part is whenever you switch to badan 3.0 oh, it's like a different software but it actually saves all of your other settings also there is actually a new mode called custom fonts i think i don't i'm not sure if it's new but i've never seen it so it basically changes the font everywhere and that's actually amazing you might not find it useful but it's really cool if you feel like it's maybe halloween you can go for like a Halloween one, I guess if there is one. But it's nice and it looks cool. And I'm not actually fanboying bad and I actually really do like the update. I feel like they could have done a bit more with the actual interface itself. But apart from that, I actually do like using bad iron more because of the 3.0 update. And I guess it does help with your FPS, it just I don't know why. It doesn't really help me that much. What is this guy? What am I doing? Oh diamonds. Oh hi. <laughs> So yeah, that's basically it about the new bar down climb. You might have already seen some videos about it. Tell me down below in the comments what you actually think about it. If you do have any like opinions and you want to share them. And one thing I do want to see bad iron do. First of all, I feel like this is a bit ugly. <laughs> like as they change the colors here to like more gray. I feel like it's a bit too bright. But also... They should, in the Sims menu, they should add, like, custom one. Because this is really confusing. Like, <laughs> like, what the heck? Pagination. Like, it's a bit too confusing. It's really nice that they actually gave us, like, the option to do that. But I feel like they should also give us some more stuff. You can even, like, change the fonts and stuff. Yeah, it's confusing. Oh, no, the controls are also different. It's, again, really tiny, but it looks really nice. Yeah, I do like that, actually. Also, this menu is really cool. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And stay you, Bye.